please. Remy, please. Remy, you don't have to do this. Remy, please. Remy, please, please, please. You don't have to do this now. Remy, please. Please, I beg you. Remember, this marriage is for better for what? Till death do us part. That was the vow we made to ourselves at the altar. So how with the vows I made ignorantly? I cannot stay with a man who cannot perform his financial obligations to his wife. I cannot. Um, um, um. Rere, please. Remy, please. The, 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 the money that the government is owing me, they will soon pay me. <laughs> Leave me now. Please. You will pay me. Shut up, Papa. I beg, I beg, I beg. Don't carry your hand up. Remy. Good afternoon. 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 Remy, by the bag, are you traveling or returning from a trip? None of the above. Oh, so, what's the gist? My ears are itching. I left Tola. You left Tola where? Which area? Come on, babe. You know what I mean now? I mean, I have left the marriage. I quit. Are you alright? Babe, babe, leave me. Nothing is wrong with me. I'm fine. Are you sure? Babe, I'm tired of hearing no money all the time. I'm tired. Uh -uh. But Tala was doing well before he married you. Are you trying to say he's stingy? Stingy? He's broke. Immediately I noticed. My love for him died. Did he lose his job or what? No. You know, let's talk about something else, please. Oh, really? Yeah, Amanda. Please, can I stay with you for a while, at your place? See, um, Remy, I would have loved you to come over with me, but unfortunately, my boyfriend just moved in. How can you allow a man stay in your place? It should be the other way around. He should be the one taking care of you, Amanda, and not you. Remy, my boyfriend has accommodation issues. And I'm in a position to help. Are you saying I shouldn't? Please yourself, Amanda. As for me, Remy, I wouldn't do that for a man. If not, babe, I can allow her stay with me. At least, no strings attached. Remy, I love my boyfriend so much. And I can do anything for him. And now he has accommodation issues, so I have to help him. Amanda, are you trying to turn me down? Don't you have a three bedroom flat? Remy, try and understand now. Eh? I wouldn't want a woman in my house when my boyfriend is around. Eh? You know the devil is always looking for an opportunity to. I hope you're not trying to sell seduce your man if you allow me to start your place. You know what, Amanda? I'll look for somewhere else. Remy, you are the one saying this. I'm only preventing it from happening. Hello, babies. Hey, welcome baby girl. Thank you. How you doing? I'm good. Amanda, the Amanda. <laughs> the only babe that can turn an ugly face to a fine face. Oh, oh. I, I you. hear you. I hear you. Don't do. <laughs> Remy, how you doing now? I'm fine, Chini. Welcome. Thank you. You're not looking okay. I hope all is well. Then I have some issues, so I decided to step aside for a while. So where are you going to? Just trying to put up with Amanda for a while. But she told me now because of her man. Uh, mm. 
I'm okay. But Remy, you know it's very risky for a pretty girl like you to stay at Amanda's place when her man is there. I beg you. Let me tell her more. I don't talk tired. Okay. Chini. Yeah. Can I stay with you for a while? Since there's no man in your house. Hmm. Me. Hmm. No. Remy, if I allow you to stay at my place, everyone will think I'm in support of you leaving your husband. But babe, let me ask you. Is the problem between you and your husband irredeemable? You see, the issue is, I think you should go back to your man and settle. Of course, you're lucky to be married, Remy. People like us wish to be in your shoes if you don't know. Amanda, it's all the same money just because I want to stay with you for a while, Abby. Eh? Just because of that. Hey! Okay. Okay. So our sincere advice has turned to someone. He does not take proper care of me. All he knows how best is to use me in bed from nine to morning. And when <laughs> that's nice now. Okay. You're so lucky like me to have a sexually active man in the house. Don't you know that's all women's dream? Are you okay? I'm very okay. I'm talking about Tola does not fulfill, has not fulfilled any of his promises he made to me before marriage. And I'm here congratulating me on having a sexual active man. Now that one I won't chop. Hey, 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 hey. wait till you won't chop again. Babe, I need to look good. I need to cruise around in a flashy car. Just like every beautiful daily like me. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. But Tola can buy you any car of your choice. <sighs> Well, judging from how buoyant he was before he got married to you. Babe, that was an illusion. He deceived me. That's not true, Remy. That's not possible. Uh -huh. Tola that I know loves you so much. And if you're good to him, he can even buy you a private jet if he has the resources. Who said I'm not good to him? The most annoying part is when he gets angry, he hits me each time I tell him to fulfill his promises he made to me. That's so bad. Why would he raise his hand on you? For goodness sake, you are his wife and not his slave. You must really trust her so much for wanting her to stay with us. Yes, honey. Since I knew her, she has always lived above board. A yes is truly yes, and a no is no. So, in other words, she is honest? Yes, she is very honest. Okay. And how long does she intend to stay here with us for? Um, just a little while to enable her husband get over his madness. Sweetheart, hitting a woman is a height of irresponsibility. Yeah, I know, right? Okay. Since that's what you want, who am I to say otherwise? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Annie. I trust your judgment. I'm so grateful, Natasha. Oh, awesome. What are friends for? If not to assist each other at the time of need like this. You know you're right. A friend in need is a friend indeed. No, that phrase was just designed for people like you. <laughs> thank you and thank God. Good morning, Remy. Hope you had a good night, Yeah, I did. 
God will continue to bless you, sir. Amen. Thank you, sir. Okay. Um, breakfast is ready. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. You're such a nice man. No wonder my lovely wife here likes you so much. I tell you, she's a very nice lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. This looks good. You're sure gonna like it. <laughs> What? She left my house the same day. Daddy, I swear I have not set my eyes on Remy since she left this house. Listen, Adi. I swear with my life. I have not set my eyes on her since the day she left. I don't know. I, I, I thought she, she came to your place. I can't lie, my son. I won't be lying to you. She is not here. I chased her back home. She was complaining about some trivial issue. My wife can attest to it. We just have a call. Hello? Yeah, this is Tola, Remy's husband. Hi, Tola. Good to hear from you. Hope you're good. I am not good. Really? Your friend left my house. And up till now, I've not heard from her and I don't know her whereabout. And the information reaching me is that she is not also at her parents' place. Yeah. And uh, I've called a uh, couple of your, your friends and friends and uh, no one uh, knows her whereabout also. And that's why I am calling you to find out if you know where she is. Uh, um, not at all. And you don't know her whereabout. At dawn, I will take her picture to the police station to make a formal report of her. Um, Tola, it, don't take it to this length yet now. It hasn't got into that. Just let me find out from my other friends if they have seen her yet. Okay. So, uh... When should I expect your reply? Um, tomorrow, failing me. I will wait until you get back to me. Okay, thank you so much for your understanding. Thank you very much, Anne. Have a good night rest. Yeah, good night. <laughs> Welcome, babe. Hmm. How's work? Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, just so tired. Sorry, work was fine, thank you. I guess you did not go somewhere else because I know job auntie will not keep one this late. I need to see a friend on the island. You won't believe it. We were stuck in traffic for four hours. I'm so sorry. It's okay, no problem. But just don't make it a habit. Mm, no, I won't. Hi, Dr. Casey. It's fast asleep. I had to stay up to open the door for you when you arrive. Oh, that's so kind of you. <laughs> Look, your husband called me. It's a lie. It's true. Hope you didn't tell him I'm with you. Of course I did not tell him that. But he told me he wants to declare you missing with your pictures on the national television. What? Why does he want to do that? Because you're still legally married to him. And he feels you're missing. Uh, legally married to him, my foot. 
Babe, what do I do to stop him from declaring me missing? Unless I call him to tell him you're with me. And you can't do that. Why can't I? Babe, you can't. Natasha, you can't tell him I'm with you. Why? You just can't. Please, you can't. Why can't I tell him that you are with me? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, I forgot something and that's what I came to pick up. Okay. Thank you. Well done. Please take this. Yeah, sure. I will. <laughs> oh. In traffic. You see the traffic here? <laughs> More reason you should have left in time. So as to be here before us as the initiator of the meeting. I know. I apologize for keeping you girls waiting. I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. Apology accepted. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for your understanding. You're welcome. We need to see the traffic here. Oh, God. Oh, I would like to have a glass. Um, bad man. Please, can I have a glass? <sighs> Damn. <It's> so sweet. <laughs> No one, no, Natasha, doesn't want to let you go. This your meat. Mm? It's too damn delicious to be <laughs> eating half and half. What is going to happen is, my meeting starts in a few minutes. Huh? I don't even know how I'm going to get there in time before it starts. But I will go, mm? and then I will return for some more. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting. I'll be waiting. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um. Help me with my. All right. Yeah. Gosh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm sorry. You've worn me out totally. You've you finished me. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. Of course, I know you did. <laughs> okay. All right. So, where is she now? She's in my house at the moment. Natasha. It's risky harboring a married woman in your home, you know. Friendship is all about giving a helping hand when it's necessary. I don't think it's the best decision. Because if her husband litigates against you and claims millions as damages for conspiring with his wife to abandon him, he will win, you know. Um, Natasha, um, Amanda is right here and I'm sure it is what she told you that made you have all her, right? Yes. So, what did she tell you was her reason for leaving a matrimonial home? Well, she said her husband beats her up so messlessly and makes life so unbearable for her eh what nonsense <laughs> i zara it's not possible ah I, I can't condone a man hitting me and who does that no 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 i cannot accept that in the name of marriage you hear me so all these men they are terrible they are, they are just full of shit. zara Marriage is all about tolerance. You need to be tolerant to be married, else you remain single for the rest of your life. Who cares? Who cares? See, these men, they are very, very terrible. They are all terrible. They just change drastically from being uh, uh, nice to, to, to something else, all in the name of marriage. Please, oh, they can all go to hell. 
don't generalize, please. Just say some men. Because mine is loving, caring, and romantic. And he will never be in that category, okay? <laughs> see who's talking? Shall you guys are still cutting? Wait till he marries you. You will see this other side of him. Just wait. So what will happen then? Ah, uh -uh. he will change now. You see another part of him now. He will show you another part. See, as far as I'm concerned, they are all from the same school of thought. Abe, mine is not in that your school of thought. He's so loving and caring, and he gives it to me like no one is there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Okay, ladies, please. <laughs> Let's face why we are here. Remy and her husband need to be reconciled back so that she can go back to her home and have peace. Okay, Natasha, let me ask you. Is she willing to go back home? Well, if we are friends can call her to order, she has no choice than to go back home. <clears throat> As the lawyer here, I need to ask professional questions. So, what was her main reason for leaving her man? Well, she said she needed to give him some time to feel remorseful for beating her up. That's why I even have ordered my house in the first place. <laughs> Remy. You see, Remy has made the biggest mistake in her life by leaving her matrimonial home. I, Amanda, will never do that, no matter the situation. Because I might turn out to be the loser. Mm, I trust you. Um, Natasha, Amanda is right on that. I, you see, men being what they are, you could just bring in another woman and that's it all. Before, Uncle, that's so all now. Please, can I get a drink at least? I trust you, the traffic is so terrible. You don't mean it. I do. If you declare her missing on television, that would be very disgraceful. You better call him and tell him the truth. Um, Natasha, Amanda is right there. She's very right. Um, because otherwise, you, you, you'll be in trouble yourself. Huh? I'd rather call him right away. Please do. Ringing. Hello. Hello, Tola. Yeah. Tasha, how are you? God has been awesome. Yeah, I promised to call you when I get any tangible information about your wife's whereabouts. Have any tangible information of her whereabouts then? She has been with me all this while. Wow! That's good. Are you, are you serious? Yeah, and I apologize so dearly for lying to you the other time. No problem. Well, I, I know she must have. believed her, uh, that's why you supported her and, and took her in, isn't it? I did what I had to do for a friend in need, but I have decided to send her back to you. Oh, that would be great. That's fine. That time, uh, if she's uh, so willing to come back. She doesn't have any choice than to come back home. I will be looking forward to seeing her then. I promise I'm going to mount so much pressure on her and she will return back to you as soon as possible. Is that a promise? Okay. Um, Tola. Hope the idea of the police has been cancelled. No, no. Why? Why would I? <laughs> Go to the police now that I know her whereabouts and since she's with you, that means she's fine, isn't it? You know, I'm not going to the police again. I promise I'm going to mount so much pressure on her and she will return back to you as soon as possible. Um, that would be beautiful. Um, that would be great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, take care, okay? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Girls, he's missing her like badly. And he wants her back like yesterday. 
But the good thing is he has cancelled declaring her missing on the national television. Wow. That's better. So um, now, Natasha, you have to tell Remy we'd like to see her by 4 p.m. tomorrow, being Saturday, okay? Okay. Guess what? I have gotten an information about Remy's whereabouts. Bingo! That's it! <laughs> so, have you located the place? Ah, come on. Not so fast. But is it necessary? Ah, see? Over necessary, oh! That's your wife! Get her back to your house. Hey, calm down. Why are you crying more than you believe? Now me get the wife, Abi. Uh -huh. hey, calm yeah. down. Okay, okay. okay, even if I want to go there, will you accompany me? Okay. Shall we? Hey, calm down. Ah. The friend that she stays with, I called her and she promised that she was going to talk some sense into her. Mm -hmm. Let's just wait. If she refuses to her advice or persuasion, then we'll stop there. Look, guy, I'm ready for you. Anytime, any day, any moment. Well, come on. Bro. What are we friends what for? Are friends for? If not, if we bless each other, I will be bless you. Come on. Hey! Hmm. <laughs> Remy. Okay, so let's see wait for her. Just a little while. Oh. Ah, Chini. <laughs> Oh. You look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. Good to have you. Thank you very How much. How was your trip? Oh, bless God. My trip was fine. I'm very sorry, ladies, for coming late. My flight was too Eh, As usual now, we know you as habitual late coma in all our gatherings. So we forgive you as usual. Eh? What is your own Zara? Why well, just apologize for my late coming? Argument would not be mm. necessary. Okay, yeah, now, please, ladies. Uh, my dear, Tarigo. All right. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of life. Amen. We thank you for the gift of good health of mind and body. Amen. Father, we are sinners and we are not worthy to come to thy presence. Father, but we know in your infinite goodness you blot away our offenses and give us the grace and the zeal to keep away from all occasions of sins. Father Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, for making it possible for us to gather here today to deliberate on issues concerning us. Father, for those of us that are still unmarried, Father, please locate our husbands for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amanda the prophet. <laughs> nice one, though. Thank you. That's a lovely prayer there, you know. Thank you. So tomorrow now, she'll wake up and open one church and we'll now start referring to her as General. Oh, we'll see ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you become the lawyer come secretary. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> oh, God. Legal things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, ladies. Um, mm. Let's go straight to the business of the day. Um, I called this meeting for us to be able to reconcile Remy and her husband back together. Yeah. Okay. All right, Natasha. Permit me to ask Remy a question. Of course, sure. Madam Remy, yeah. why did you develop hatred for your husband? Yeah. Greetings, my concerned friends. Tola changed from the good man that I used to know to something else. So the change killed the love I had for him. Remy, hmm? please, what type of change do you mean? When a man changes from being nice to something else, the woman feels the impact. Um, 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 ladies, uh, Remy, you need to be more explicit. Um, when you say change from what he used to be to something else does that mean he hits you yes of course most times especially when i tell him to feel the promises he made to me before we got married remy you are lying uh -uh. you are lying you're a liar uh. you told me you left him simply because he's broke uh. you didn't you never told me he hits you i was there so uh. please stop lying and be truthful here I was there. so i will know how to help you i was all this rubbish remy uh. Did you lie to me? Remy, why paint your husband all black? Why? 
You told me Tola hits you. That is why I actually accommodated you in my home. Because I don't like it when a man beats up a woman. I beg, I beg, I beg. That won't be necessary anymore. Because the love I had for him died the day I realized he's not the man he claimed to be. Ah! Mm. Um, if you no longer love him, why don't you just file for divorce immediately and avoid uh, ridiculing yourself? That's my own candid advice, though. Zara, hmm? are you for real? How could you advise for me to divorce her husband? Zara, mm -hmm. I've been needing your services now. <laughs> Ladies, so you see. That's what she wants. It's obvious it's what she wants. And believe you me, as a professional, I gotta do what I gotta do. Zara, you have gone mad. Ah, Kilode. You have gone nuts. Ah, Kilode. What is wrong with you? I beg. Remy, why would you want to seek for a divorce? Why? For Christ's sake, he still loves you. <laughs> She's no longer in love. Huh? You are not Remy. Allow her answer. I won't go back to that man. Period. Not by force. Okay, ready. Yeah. So what you have to do now is pack your things and leave Natasha's house immediately. Exactly. <laughs> Shani is right. You have to leave Natasha's house. Yes. See, eh, Natasha, you are making the biggest mistake of your life uh -huh. by harboring a beautiful lady like this in your matrimonial home. Hmm. Don't say we didn't want you. <laughs> <laughs> you girls have no right to tell me to leave Natasha's place. They actually have all the right to. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. You just have to pack your things and leave my home. Because your husband still loves you. So, because <laughs> Amanda and Chini said I should leave your house. Abby? Amanda and Chini did not make the decision. We all did. Consigned friends. Am I right? Yes. Sorry, you were not looking. <laughs> that was scary. Ah, why was inside the television now? What happens when you're watching a movie? Don't you react now? Please, you overreacting. Ah, scared me. Sorry. Gosh. Uh-huh, Remy. Please come and sit. Remy, you have to go back to your husband's house. He needs you and he wants you back. My house is free and open for you and your husband to come in here anytime you want. You can even come and spend some weekends with us. I will accept it. Hmm? I told you, I no longer love that man and I don't want to go back to him. I know you want me out of your house, but just give me a little time. Let me find, my, find myself a place and I'll leave. Remy, you've had enough time already and you have overstayed your welcome. What more time do you expect me to give to you? Sweetheart, hmm? you're not saying anything. Uh, well, the lady says she's not ready to go back to him, so let her be. Meaning? Meaning that she's your friend, and since you invited her in the first place, she is asking for more time, so allow her to stay for a while until she gets a place of her own. How can you be saying this? How do you expect her husband to feel without his wife? Put yourself in this position. How would you feel? What you should have considered all of this before allowing her. Are you saying she should remain here? I'm only saying that she's your friend. And she's saying that she's not ready to leave. So let her stay. Now tell me what is your interest? There's no interest though. I'm only showing concern for your friends. Don't sweet at me, please. Your body language is just saying a lot. What body language are you talking about? You think I don't have eyes? And you feel the walls doesn't have yet, eh? Baby, honestly, there is nothing going on between us. There is nothing. Exactly, Natasha. Stop imagining things. Natasha, stop imagining things, eh? You want me to stop imagining things? Then you have to pack your things and leave my house. You have overstayed your welcome. Sweetheart, mm -hmm. tell her how to leave our house now. 
uh, Remy, my darling wife Natasha wants you to leave our house today. Barista. Sir? You mean my my wife, Remy? Also her friend. We spoke at length. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? How do you do? How do you do? Uh, my name is Tola, Remy's husband. Oh, I see. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, this is um, Osage, my best friend. Hello, Osage. How are you doing? I'm good. Welcome. Please uh, take a seat. So, uh, what can I offer you? Oh, for me, I'm fine. I don't want anything except uh, Osage here wants some. No, no, no. I'm good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Actually, you see, your wife, Remy, is here with my wife's permission, okay? I tried to kick against it, but my wife took offense. So in order for peace to reign in my home, I let it be. I understand my brother, you know, which women cannot say, I understand. But I am not holding it against No. <laughs> Beautiful. Is she home now? Yes, yeah, she is. I'm sure she will be in her room. Please. Can we see her? Sure, why not? Remy, you have visitors. I'm here in the <clears throat> So, uh, Mr. Tola, why haven't you made efforts to look for her all this while? I, I didn't look for her. I went to her house and her parents told me that they've not seen her. It was just a couple of days ago I found out that She's here with you guys in Natasha's house. Okay, but, 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 but maybe you should have at least tried to, you know, call her on the phone to plead with her to return home. I love my wife so much. I have done that repeatedly. I called her countless times, but she's been very angry. She was rude, warning me on phone that I shouldn't call her again. Hmm. If not because of the love that I have for her. Would I be going through all this stress? No, don't don't say that. You see, don't don't talk like that. Don't talk like that. At the end of the day, the important thing is that you're here now. Well, you know, women do not like it when the men hit them. So I guess that must be the you know hit her. Yes, I don't hate women. In fact, I hate men that beat women. She gave us the impression that you batter her all the time and that was why she left your house. No. She you. Can't you see? Oh, no. She lied to you. No. She left me just because I have little financial challenges, which I know that is just uh, temporary. It's okay. I like how you put it, you know, that your financial problems are temporary. Yeah, that's what it is. Yes. It is temporary. Yes, yes. The downfall of a man is not the end of his yeah, life. No, no, it's not. Welcome, Asaz. Welcome, Tola. Thank you, Remy. Remy. Why are you treating my friend like this? Huh? Why? It is not fair, you know. Why are you 
I decided to step aside. Is that an offense? At least you would have made it work. Okay? Rather than leaving your house, your home, to come squat here. Sake. Imagine. Remy, can you imagine my wife? She okay. left her home to okay. okay. to come here to squat with a friend. It's okay. Can you just imagine that? Uh, Remy, please. It is a cost that is being laid on you. Please. I will do everything humanly possible to make sure that it's been exercised by a powerful man of God. Just come back home. Let's go home and get this is you trashed out amicably once and for all, please. Sarah, I am 100% okay. You are the one that needs deliverance urgently. Ah. <clears throat> I've told you I'm no longer interested in you, your marriage, or your house. Don't you understand? Remy, Remy, don't talk like that. He is still your husband. I'm sorry, sir, but... It's no longer working out for us. I sent my lawyer to him to intimate on my um, divorce decision, but he played it down. Come on, you don't have to do that. You can still work things out. I believe that. Huh? Remy, please. Remy, please. Whatever it is that I've done to you. Please. Get up, please. Get up. Remy. Remy, please. Remy, you might love you so much. I can't do without you. It's been hell since you left that house. Please. Please. I'm not going back, Talak. It's over. Please. For the love that I have. No love, no love. No, 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 no. To your husband, then. You don't you understand? Tola. Hey, it's very good. It is good that you are here. Your wife must go home with you today. Baby, baby. Hey, don't please don't. Do yeah. not baby me. Remy, go in and get your things ready because you're leaving this house this minute. Well, you think I'm joking, eh? Ah. 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 Ah, 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 my arm, my shoulder. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Easy, oh, easy. Me. Easy. You know what? So he doesn't want to divorce her. Hmm, my dear, no. That man kept crying and begging that I plead with her to come back home. I just don't understand how he loves her so much, yet she hates him. Yeah, I pity him more. I don't know why nice men end up with bad-hearted women. Hmm. I beg you. See, she does not deserve that man. She doesn't. He's too down to earth. As it is now, it will take him time to forget her. <laughs> Obviously. Now I believe that men also cry for love. It beats my imagination why she hates him with passion. Hey, Amanda. Are you sure it's man enough? <laughs> I doubt that. Because Remy told me that man can mount her from morning to night. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, what's the problem then? <laughs> Remy, she wants so much money at her disposal. She wants to drive the latest car and cruise around town. Come on, it's enough now, eh? You sure? You want to go to my cut up the whole Has really is that your massage has worked wonders. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can say that again. Uh, You're too fragile. Just a little fall. You went to the hospital. Mm, it's not what you think. It happened 
Many years ago when I was younger, I uh, I fell off a mango tree, but I hid it from my parents. A few days later, I couldn't lift this my arm. You know, and then my parents took me to a, a native bone specialist. He fixed it and years later, it started dislocating with every little pressure. Mm -hmm. Mm. Sorry. Mm. Thank you. No permanent mm. solution to it? Mm. I plan to visit India. Better. Mm. Thank you for your concern. <laughs> Love you. Ooh. Anything for my good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah. Mm. Yeah? Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's enough. I want to cook my pull off the whole arm. <laughs> Stay lazy, man. <laughs> Me lazy, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Am I? Oh, mm. yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Natasha. Oh, baby, baby. The only woman that can allow her rival in her home. That's my mistake, sweet. Oh. But you know what? Now my eyes are open to reality. <laughs> Thank God your eyes are now opened. <sighs> Sorry, the lawyer. Mm -hmm. How far now? Adel, you see me now? Uh -huh. So, is she still in your house? Are you not her lawyer? You should know better. My dear, it has nothing to do with being a lawyer. If you want her to leave your house right now, this moment, she will. You are the one that is being lenient with her. It's my husband that is being gentle with her. Yesterday, her husband came to her house to pick her home. Guess what? But she refused to follow me. I tried forcing her to go with him. But my husband prevented me from creating a safe. I pushed him, he fell to the floor and dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> 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 now, wow. All this wala because of Remy. Mm. So how is Casey now? Well, he was discharged yesterday after they got his sugar back to its position. Ah, this is serious. So after the old ceremony, she's still in your house, huh? She's still there, doing house shows. Mm. See, uh, Natasha, if you are not careful, she will have a baby for your man under your nose and take over your home. Mm-hmm. Natasha, you just have to do the right thing. Do something. Um, Natasha, please, I have to ride with you halfway and pick a car once I'm done with my pedicure. Hmm? No problem. When I have to make it snappy, I need to go now. No problem. Hmm. I've never seen a woman as sweet as you are. No wonder your man does not want to let you go. You are not only beautiful, you are equally very good at it. Now you, Sabi. I'm sweet. And you're sweeter. I mean, you are the sweetest. Honestly, I don't know. I don't think I can cope without you. <laughs> As the Lord has giving you the energy to cope with my fire pounding power so also will he give you the strength to cope <laughs> amen oh yes so <sighs> gosh that was so it's so difficult to let you go eh? you sweet that was why i did not mind my wife that day when she was saying that i should I should forcefully throw you out of the house. How can I throw away meat that I am eating? <laughs> <laughs> now, wow. <laughs> I know. Casey, huh? there's something I want to tell you. Okay, what is it? Um, I, my period ceased since last month. What do you mean, period? What, what are you talking about? <sighs> What's that? Be serious, my friend. Listen, listen. Please, please, please. Just die the matter here now. How many times I don't even mount you wait the time? Well, which day we will start self? You are telling me, listen, if this is what I'm taking with you, you better just forget about it because my wife, 
that my wife. If she finds out that me and you that you were done sleeping with you, eh? <laughs> she will kill you. In fact, she will kill me. She will kill the both of us. We are dead meat. You don't serious. Kesi, I am very serious. Something is wrong. I am very serious. Okay now. I'm sure she used Juju on me. Not only Juju. It's Juju said that she used on you. No, I don't know what she used. She's pregnant for you. Eh? Pregnant for me? So that's why it's obvious that since the very first day she stepped her foot into this house, you've stayed sleeping with her. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Yeah? No, 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 no. It's not true. Please, baby, please, please, please. I'm begging you. No, you know this shredder has not did. It is haunting me, please. I'm begging you. Release oh. me, please. It's hot. Yes. But you care less about it and you have the kind of knowledge of Granny. <sighs> I'm going to teach you the lesson. Ah, no, no, please don't teach me. I'm begging you. I've learned enough. I've learned already. She should remain or she should leave. No, she must leave this house today. Today, today, she must leave. In fact, I can even put it in writing if you want to. No, no, no. My past has now. Is it yours? I, my never. Never. I can never be mine. It's yours. But where? It's not mine, baby. It's not mine. It's not mine. I've told her to take it to her husband. Baby, please release me now. Or is there any other promise you want me to make and even sign? I will do it. Remy has cost you so much pains. And if I were you, I would have let go. I would have forgotten totally about her and signed the divorce papers. This woman. She's not gotten pregnant for you, talkless of giving you a child. Oh, Michelle. Very deep. This is the best a friend can tell a friend. Is she? Thank you. Yes. I think the best thing I can do for myself is to sign that divorce papers because Remy has cost me. So. Um, this is my friend uh, Osage. Oh. In fact, um, my best friend, Dr. Osage, um, Barrister Zara, Remy's attorney. Oh. <laughs> it's my pleasure meeting you, sir. You're welcome. I believe she must have been pressurizing you to Archer Tola to sign the divorce papers. Exactly. Freedom! I have not been myself. Remy is still staying at her friend's place. I went there to talk to her, just, just to plead for her to come back to her home. But she refused. And that was after the lawyer came here with her divorce papers for me to sign, which I deliberately refused to sign it. Hello, Martin. Remileko. My daughter, Ulua Remileko, has been bewitched and she has gone astray. Brother, <clears throat> nobody has bewitched her. It's just a simple case of greed. I'm materialistic. And I don't know where she got all these tendencies from. Remi has suddenly become materialistic. Hmm. Vanity upon vanity. Our daughter has been possessed by material things. Hmm. A sudden change of attitude. 
Remy has changed. Her recent behavior is not the Remy I married. Um, my son, please, can we have the address of where she's staying? Um, my wife and I will want to go and see her. I want to set my eyes on her and find out what her problem is. Ben. Yes, Daddy, I'll, I'll write down the address for you. Don't worry, my son. Don't worry, my son. Be patient. We will bring back Remy. Ah! Oluwa Remy left me. <laughs> you are making a man cry for you. We will bring her back here as well. Amen. Oh, Please, talk to me, baby. I love her so much. <laughs> nice food, my dear. Thanks so much. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> Mama, why are you thanking me for giving you a good food? You are the one who taught me how to cook good food. Yes, yes. I'm glad I did. And I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> yes. You'll pass it on to your children, and they too will pass it on to their children. Yes, so... <laughs> Um, Mama. Yes, my dear. Please, I want you to advise me. Okay. A girlfriend of mine who is also married had some problems with her husband. For that reason, she came over here to stay for a while while she gets over the issue. But the thing there now is She's pregnant for my husband. Oh my. The lady must be a demon. She will live to regret her life biting the finger that fed her. So where is she now? She's still in this house. Still in your house? Yes. Hey! My daughter, oh, why do you allow this type of temptation to before you? Mama, how was I supposed to know that she was going to backstab me? It's okay. Wait, you would have sent her packing when you noticed the foul play. Mama, I did everything humanly possible to make her leave, but to no avail. So, what is your husband's reaction? How is he taking it? At first, it was being skeptical, but after realizing that she's pregnant, he wants her out. Ah, you, the job is as good as concluded. You don't need to worry about that. Um, I wouldn't want to do anything to dent my profession as a lawyer. So, patient. Okay, so when am I getting my own documents? In a few days. Sure. Very sure. She says so. I'll just um, do a transfer to you right now. Later. <laughs> okay, um, just call. Yeah, you can call your account number right now. Um, zero double one zero. What's happening? Ever since I told you about my pregnancy, you've been You've changed. And that to you is pleasant news? Of course it is. I'd say you reason like a goat, but I'll just say this. Get rid of it and go back to your husband before it's too late. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. I can't get rid of my child. If I must go, you must get me a convenient place in town. So you come visit Annie on Bon Chow. You know what? You're such a you're such a dreamer. Remy, mm. it is really very obvious now that you you derive pleasure from embarrassing yourself and others. Truth be told, if my wife were to be a bad person like you, we would have fallen apart a long time ago because of you. Wife, 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 I better make a hear word. She's been with you for so many years. Without conceiving, miscarriage, or even getting pregnant for you. Why I came to wipe away your tears and you're treating me like trash. Mm -mm. No, dear. I don't treat you like trash. 
You are trash. Can you hear yourself? Sweetheart. Talk to me and break your hand. You lie. Get it into your thick skull. Mm -hmm. This thing you are carrying in your womb is not welcome in this house. Can you hear yourself? A child who came to wipe away your tears is not welcome. You will regret this. <laughs> I love such regrets. Oh, you will. That bastard in your womb does not belong here. You had better take it to whoever that is responsible for it and leave my husband and I alone in peace. That's right. Natasha, I am already in the rightful place. You better start getting used to us. You lie. I say you lie a big time. You do not belong here and you can never ever belong here. And I just can't even imagine getting used to living under the same roof with it. Prostitutes like you are there to touch my husband in my presence. Are you sick? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind. My sweet wife, mm. Natasha here, has said it all. So please do as she has said. Go, go. Okay, I've heard. If I must leave, then you gave me a flat today, then I will. Do you know you, you're going back empty handed the way you came with an empty local box? Mm -hmm. My husband is not getting you a common face me and face you room, mm -hmm. let alone getting you a flat. That's right. Dreamer. Keep dreaming. It's your. I'm the one with the baby. Sweetheart. That's my name. Okay, baby. Thank okay, you. I love you. <laughs> you're so kind, honey. I am not going. Casey, you can run, though. If you like, you walk away. Casey, I told you my own. Shameless thing. No. One thing that baffles me is why Remy suddenly developed this so much hatred for me. Search me, I don't know either, but I know some ladies are like that. So I would advise you just sign the divorce paper. No, he hasn't. Zara, so you can't even get allowed to sign a common divorce papers. In fact, I'm disappointed in you. I thought you're one of the best lawyers in town that deserves an award. Uh-uh, calm down, Remy. He hasn't gotten to that now. I know how you feel, okay? No, you don't. If you do, you will convince Tola to sign the divorce papers. Sarah, don't you understand? Mm -hmm. I want to be free from Tola's bondage. Remy, me, I've tried. I've tried all the tricks that I know to get that man sign those divorce papers. But he kept saying he wants to give you some time to come back to your senses. Zara, make him understand that I, Remy, you will never change my mind. Ah. I don't love him. Period. Remy, calm down. Okay, please. I need to ask you. What, what has this man done to you that you hate him so much with passion? Is it that he doesn't make you, he can't make you feel like a woman in bed? Zara, that's not it. He's a horse when it comes to that. He can ride you from night till morning. That's serious. So, after being with him, the next morning I feel like I went to the farm to cultivate some cassavas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I understand better. Now I see where the problem is. That's not the problem, Zara. He lied to me about his financial status. Remy. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. I'll keep persuading him to sign the divorce mm -hmm. papers. And free you from that bondage that you claim to be at it. Please, be fast about it. my bag doing here for goodness sake? Natasha! Natasha, what's the meaning of this? It means that your time is up, so pack your load and leave my house! You know what, I'm pressed because I need to use the toilet. You cannot use my toilet. You can go and use the gutters for all I care because that is where you belong. What? Yes. Me? Mm -hmm. Belong to the gutters? Of course! 
Hence, you've thrown my stuff outside. Can I please check inside? You just end up by things inside. You are evil. I packed all your belongings, including the strands of your hair, into your luggage. So pack your load and leave my house. I need to check for myself to be double shot. I said I packed all your load. Pick your box now and leave my house this minute. Natasha, you, you cannot go anywhere. Are you out of your mind? Pick your box and leave my house now. Rubbish. Hurry up, I can leave my house. Stupid idiot. They are with me. Oh, let's go. They are with me. I'm coming. I'm here. Sorry for keeping you with. Please, let's be going. I hope we'll be somebody in that house today. I hope so. Because I don't want what happened last time to happen again, where we got there and there was nobody in the house. Baba Remy, let us go. Let's be optimistic. We will meet somebody. Officer, she's the one. She's the one. Arrest her. Uh, good afternoon, officers. Hey, hey, good afternoon, madam. What can I do for you? You are under arrest. Eh? For forcefully and illegally ejecting this woman from her husband's house. Hey! <laughs> Officers, did this woman tell you that this is her husband's house? To help you right. Officers, she lied to you. This woman is a liar. This is not her husband's house. You had better leave here in this minute before you lose your jobs because of this lot. Madam, we are not here for jokes. You have to come with us to the station. Even if your husband is the governor of the state, you are not above the law. Officers, yes, I am not above the law. But this woman lied to you. She is not married to my husband and she can never be married to him, even in his graveyard. You have to follow us to the station. We'll read your request. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Let's hear her. Thank you, officer. I accommodated this woman in my house. Please let me go. Thank you, officer. I accommodated this woman in my house when she had problems with her husband. She started living with me here. The next day she just turned around and stayed sleeping with my husband. I asked her to leave and she refused. No, no, no. That, that can't be true. Officer, it is the truth. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm going to prove something to you. Hey, madam, 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 just, just wait, wait, wait. Um, madam Remy, you heard what she just said. Hmm? Can we see some evidence? Officer, the baby in my womb is an evidence. Uh Shut up, one nonsense, baby. I reject you in Jesus' name. You cannot be pregnant for my husband. Um, madam, you're under arrest for false whistleblowing. Good. Yes. Ah, uh, under arrest? Yes. How can a hunter turn out to be haunted? Yeah, because you gave the police the wrong information. You're arrested. Get out of my house. Where is that again? Where is that? Who is talking on my door? Where is that? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Mom! Dad! How do you know I'm here? Oh, you think you can hide forever? You cannot hide forever, Remy, let me tell you. Ah ah! What's happening here? She's under arrest. Arrest? Arrest? Ah, please, officer. Please don't arrest her. She's our daughter. We're her parents. We have come to take her back to her husband's home. So please, don't arrest her. My sister, please. Please tell them not to arrest her. We have come to take her out of your home. Bundle her back to her husband. Please don't arrest her. Please. What is the offense anyway? Madam, you see, she will have to follow us down to the station so that she can withdraw the case she laid against um, Madam Natasha. Ah, case? Oh. Uh, Madam Natasha, we are, we are truly sorry for the embarrassment of caused you. That's all right, officer. But please. Always carry out your proper investigation before arresting any citizen of our dear country. Noted, 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 madam. Remy. Remy Leku. Are you the one that brought in these officers to arrest this woman? She is. Uh, she actually came to make a false report at the station that Madam Natasha sent um, some area boys to forcefully remove her from her husband's house. Oh. <laughs> you are what? Pregnant? Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth! You are a big disgrace to womanhood. You are a disgrace. Embarrassment! I'm ashamed of you! Mommy, mommy, I don't 
I'm ashamed to call you my daughter. Stop calling me mommy. Speak to this station are you taking her? Maybe I'll see if you should come on. Can you not see what I've been saying? I can no longer walk with pride in my neighborhood. You people want to bring shame on me. But it will not work for you. It will not work for you. My, my, my husband, please. Let us follow them to the police station. Get her out of there and then take it from them. Will you get your hands off me? I am not going to any police station. And let me get home before you. You see what I'll do to you. No. <laughs> please. Please, my daughter. I don't know how, how to go about this embarrassment. But honestly, I will, I will talk sense to her. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Just to accommodate. Give her a helping hand. What did I do wrong? And she came here to arrest me in my house. So sorry about that. I'm sorry, my daughter. <laughs> sorry. Let me run before my husband gets home before me. Hello, Remy. It's a lie. What happened? It's a long story. Please come with your guy to bear with me. I will tell you everything when we see. Oh, um, I'm on my way to the salon now. Why not call your lawyer, Zara? I tried her number severally. It's off. Please help me. I don't want to spend another night here in cell. You mean you spent the night in the cell? Yes. In fact, it's not a good experience at all. Um, okay, you know what? We'll be there soon, okay? Please don't film me. You're my only hope to live here. Oh, bye. Huh. Natasha must have dealt with her. Good day. Good day. Welcome, my children. Please come with us. There won't be any need for that, sir. We bailed Remy and we decided to bring her home. Please, sir. We would like you to forgive her. We are humans and we're bound to make mistakes. Please, we're begging. Please, sir. No matter how wrong, sir. Please take her back. We beg you in the name of God. Please, sir. Baby, I'm so sorry for behaving the way I did. I don't know what came over me. It's okay, my children, you push your ghetto. Thank you, sir. 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 Good afternoon, mommy. Good afternoon, mom. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Remy? Mm. You're welcome. Thank you, mom. Are these your friends? Yes, sir. Oh, welcome. Welcome, my children. Thank you, you mom. Now that you have come back to your senses, I want you to carry your bags, go back to your husband's house, and kneel down just like you did here, and apologize to him. Apologize for all this nonsense you have been portraying. Do I make myself clear? Yes, and now, yes, Daddy. Daddy, not right here. She doesn't look decent in what she's wearing. Let her freshen up, eat some food, and let them have some meal before they go. Please. Okay. My children, come inside and. Thank you, ma'am. We'll be on our way now. Ah, just come in and have, even if it is. A glass of water, okay? Yes, sir, we're okay. We are fine, sir. We're Thank fine. You. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank I you really so appreciate it, okay? Thank you. May God bless you guys. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. So you freshen up.
are you doing in my husband's house dressed like this? Last time I checked, you guys were already divorced. That's not true. You were still signing divorce papers. You did. Um, it's inside. You're not serious. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to get it across to you since yesterday. I was caught up with heavy work. Uh, but since you're here, I could easily hand it over to you. This is a joke, is that all right? No, no, he has signed it. Why are you surprised? I'm no longer interested in divorce. You can undo it now. Remy, I cannot undo anything. I can't. Um, it's not in my powers. Hey, you, hey, hey, you can't. It's not your back from work. I don't mind waiting. Wow, who do we have here? Remy, how you doing? I thank God. What are you doing here? Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry. Um, sweetheart, maybe she came to collect uh, the, her own copy of the divorce papers, right? Sweetheart. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry? What did you just say? Can we talk privately? Privately? Why? Please give me a minute and hear me out. Go ahead. I'll say what you want to say. Can she excuse us? You see? Why? No, she stays. Okay. What's Zara doing here? Wow. <laughs> wow! Remy, clear your mouth. Clear your mouth. Do you know now? I've confirmed that you don't have sense, you don't have brain. You're asking me what Zara is doing here. You sent her here in the first place. Well, for your information, Zara is my confirmed new wife. That's not possible anymore. I have come back for us to continue from where we stopped. So send Zara packing. She's a gold digger. Your rightful wedded wife. He's back. Um, sweetheart. Yes, baby. Please. Mm -hmm. Sir. Could you go in? Get the copy of her divorce papers for her, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me a few seconds. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> God sent. I didn't know God was driving you away because of your bad luck. Because your new name is Bad Luck. Darling. It's me, Remyo. The one you love so much. Eh? See your nash. Eh? You see the way he left you too. So it's never happened again. The new style now is kneeling down. Just kneel down. Please. Please. <laughs> Leave us alone, Sina. Take!
Marriage is an institution where you keep learning without graduating from it. If you quit, you fail. It's an institution where you have been awarded a certificate even before admission. Marriage in Africa pack up when the man is broke and he could not fend properly for his family. I beg you for that vow. To hell with the vows I made ignorantly. I remain here to sort himself out financially. You are lying! But if I were you, my dear, I will quietly go back to my husband before it's late. What? What is that? I'm so overwhelmed with joy that I Wow. I'm so shocked you proposed to me. At first, I thought the whole thing was all a fling. I was shocked when you signed the divorce paper and proposed to me at the same time. Wow. And um, I am very, very glad you're accepted. You know what? You just brought back that joy, that passion that I miss, that thing I was looking for. And one thing that actually got me attracted to you was actually the way and manner you do your job professionally without any strings attached. You know, it, it, it shows me that when you fall in love, that you will passionately love your man forever. <laughs> hmm? Correct. You're very right. Yeah. Um, you know what? What? One thing that baffled me was the miraculous thing that happened after we started seeing each other. Really? Yeah, guess what? What? You remember the day I accepted to sign the divorce papers yeah. and uh, i proposed to you as well right mm -hmm. okay. Good. okay let me let it out the government that was owing me for years that kept me into this situation the contract that i did what over 500 something million they called me and said my check was ready. And that showed me that we are destined for each other. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, baby. Thank you. Oh, congrats. Okay, you know what? You buy me stuff. Take a break. Let's just go. Chill. Goodbye, next week. No jokes. No jokes. No jokes. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you. Baby, you gave my shot. My man. And God, you punish her for that. You're here blaming and cursing Zara. As far as you're concerned, Zara did not offend you. She only took what you rejected and threw it away. I remember when she was advising you to refrain from your decision. What did you do? You refused. And you were busy calling taller names in our presence. Remy, you treated that man badly. Zara always stepped in to console him. To me, it's just like a case of another man's poison turning out to be another man's best food. The truth is, you fell out of love with him. And it happens. And if I were you, I will not go back to my vomit. 
Hmm. I only stepped aside. I did not mean to quit. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Remy. Leaving your parents' house is an act of shame of losing Tola. It's not the best. I will advise you to go back home. So that your mom can counsel you properly. And take care of you now that you're pregnant. I can't go back home. I can't endure my father's bully. Remy, he's still your father. Don't let the things he says to you out of anger get to you. That doesn't mean he hates you. You know your parents are heartbroken because of your careless behavior that led you to losing Tola. I will advise you keep asking them for forgiveness. I'm tired of being blamed by everybody. <laughs> The reason why we're showing concern is because we care about you. I can't go back to my father. You know, he bullies me all the time. You know how heartbreaking that can be. I can't go back. I can't. Nidhi, you call for it. People like us are single. You had the opportunity and you trashed it. Hmm. There's a lesson to be learned here. We human beings need to be contented with what we have, no matter how small. So that we don't end up losing it. You're right, Jeannie. Thanks, me. I want to start life all over again. Told you, I am not a pastor. I can only counsel you, which I have done to the best of my ability. One more word. You don't value what you have until you lose it. <laughs> 